Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice! Yeah, it's Christmas, and joy is just in the air. I mean, if, if you walk around in stores, there's all the glitter and all the, the silver tinsel all over, and it is just fantastic, and maybe that's not you. Maybe you can rejoice a little bit at this Christmas, but life is hard. Maybe you can't afford the gifts that you want to give. Maybe you're missing someone. So Paul wrote that verse, rejoice in the Lord always, when he was sitting in prison. He was sitting in prison, accused of crimes he didn't commit. How could he rejoice? Well, it's because he wasn't rejoicing in tinsel or in Christmas presents. He was rejoicing in the Lord. So your ability to purchase gifts for other people changes throughout your life. Your ability to be happy changes throughout your life. But Jesus doesn't change. Jesus loves you no matter what. He gives you real gifts of, of peace, of love, of forgiveness all your life, no matter your circumstances. Now, this week we're going to be talking about where this rejoicing comes from. But for now, I want you to know that no matter what your circumstances are this Christmas, you can rejoice. Rejoice in Jesus. Because he hasn't changed.